Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to try my best to walk you through uploading an avatar from start to finish. Uh, this will start from the point of having already installed Unity and Creator Companion onto your computer. At that point, we can kick off here and get going. So, first off, you're going to want to make sure that your Creator Companion is matched with your Unity. So after you install Unity, what you want to do first, uh, you'll set up your Creator Companion to uh, automatically load the Unity projects you need. From there, you're going to want to create a new project and make sure you click Avatar or this will not work. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, name this test echo and create project. So that's going to do, it will automatically assign the things you need to your project. So I'll wait a minute for my internet to stop being dumb. So, yep. So now we verify that we are at the most up to date SDK for base avatar and then this other guy right here. So you do not need to add any of these other items onto your project. If for some reason you start to get more familiar with this and you want to test out audio link, gesture manager, things like that, they're all there ready for you to go. But for now, we will open this project and we'll see you all inside. Okay, now we've got our Unity project open and we are ready for the next step. So available in the links below will be a link to the most recent Poyomi version. So you're going to need uh, at least the most recent tune, which is the free version. If you want to pay more and get more customizability, you can grab the, the pro version from Discord. But that's only if you're going to actually be doing some like major edits. If you're just uploading the avatar as is, Poytune is more than enough. So make sure you stay up to date, as if you get too far back in the shader version, you'll start running into issues. So this is the most recent version as of right now, um, but just follow the link and you'll see whatever is available at the time. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag that into your assets folder and start uploading. So you'll see this little window pop up and you click import and we will wait again. Welcome to Unity, the waiting game. Yep. Oyomi is now properly loaded, so we can go on to the next step. So if you have an avatar that has DPS on it, you will need uh, the DPS system. At that point, it's the same step as before. Drag and drop into your assets, you'll see here, DPS, and you can import just like we did with Oyomi. This one takes a lot less time than Boyomi, thankfully. And in. Okay. Now we are at the point where you can load in your avatar. So. See in here, we have the PC version and the Quest version. We are going to start with the PC version. You want these as different projects. Do not load these into the same project. So for now, we are going to upload the PC version. So just like before, drag and drop into your assets. All right, now we have Poyomi, uh, DPS if you wanted, and the avatar loaded into our project. For Foxy Paws avatar specifically, uh, this might be different for others, but for these, the scene that you want to open is always in the main assets folder. So you don't even have to click any of these other folders that show up, because right here is the scene. This is what you will always want to open when dealing with, uh, at least specifically, Foxy Paws. 
specific avatars. So, double click, and boom. The scene is now loaded with the avatars you need. Um, if you've uploaded other avatars in the past and you go for the prefabs, that will not work. You will run into lots of problems. Please always open the scene and you will have a much better time trying to get your avatars uploaded. So, in this case, we now have four avatars available, all ready to be uploaded. Good rank, sleepy, casual, alt. Not every Foxy Paws avatar has a setting has a scene like this, but most of them have multiple choices that you can upload. So, let's say we want to upload the alt uh, slash succubus version. Now you're going to have a VR chat SDK. So if you have the control panel up, it'll probably pop out a window like this. What I highly, highly recommend is you drag from here and put it in with another one of your windows. This is what I do, just makes life so much easier to have it uh, readily available with something else. So, you log into your VR chat account from here. And once you're logged in, it'll show you logged in as account name and then able, allowed to publish worlds or publish avatars. If you have a brand new VR chat account, you will not be able to upload until you've at least spent some time in game, made some friends, whatever it takes you to get away from new user. Uh, until that happens, you cannot upload avatars to your account. Uh, from here, we go to our Builder tab, and you can see there's a little selected avatar. Be very careful that you select the one you want to upload. Uh, in this case, the alt version is the succubus version, so we will select Fem Succubus. Um, we will name it Test uh, Echo Succubus. Um, you can check the content warnings you feel are associated with this one. Um, at this point, I'll put suggestive. And you select a new thumbnail. So you can either upload or pick an image that you have saved on your computer or just capture from scene, at which point you can set up your view and capture so now you have uh, the thumbnail save this is the picture that shows up when you go to select your avatar now here is where a lot of people get really confused with is this validation section the only thing you care about as somebody who is trying to upload avatars is anything with a stop sign error on it all you have to do is click auto fix and that's it. The cautions, the circle warnings, all of these, you can still upload with these ones. The only ones that will prevent you from uploading are the stop sign alerts. Okay, now you click this information provided is correct and the build and publish should show. If it doesn't, you probably forgot to name it or set the thumbnail. Uh, at this point, you can click Build and Publish, and that's it. It will now upload the avatar. As the upload comes to finish, you'll see this final point where it says Uploading File. Now do its final checks.
And that's it. Uh, you can go over to Content Manager and check to see if it properly uploaded. You can see here, it's up here at the top. And yep, we're good to go. So now you have properly uploaded your PC version of the avatar. Now, what you're gonna have to do from here, if this is the first time you are ever uploading an avatar, You'll have to go to File, Build Settings, and click on Android. If yours does not show a window like this, it'll show a link to an EXE file that you will need to run on your computer to allow Unity to build for Android. So if you do not have this, go ahead and click the little link that will show to grab the EXE file to run. and then. Close out of Unity, run that, and then we can get to the next step. Okay, so the next step will be making a quest avatar that attaches to the PC one you just uploaded. That way, when you log into this avatar, both PC and quest will be able to see it. So we'll name it test echo quest and create. So same thing, verify that all these are up to date, which create a companion will do automatically for you and open. Okay, now we have our quest project ready to go. So unlike the PC version, you do not load in anything extra you just load in the quest package. Do not load in your Poyomi. You will break things. Drag and drop your quest into the window and wait for everything to respond. This window will pop up, and just like before, import. Once the quest version is uh, loaded in, you will sometimes see uh, this window pop up. I usually just click set texture compression to ASTC. And you're good. So, again, Double click the echo scene to bring in your quest versions of the avatars. But before we move on too far, you're going to want to log into the SDK like before. Once you are logged in, go to Builder, and down at the bottom here, you will see Selected Platform. Change that to Android. If you don't do that, you will override your PC version with the quest package. And now, as with all Unity stuff, we wait again. Okay, now our Unity project is ready to go. The scene is loaded and our platform is selected. So to make sure that the quest version that you upload attaches to the PC version you uploaded, we have to take one additional step. In your SDK window, you will go over to Content Manager and look for your uploaded avatar that you want to attach it to. I will have to wait for my internet to stop being dumb to load everything up. All right, so. Uh, I uploaded the Test Echo Succubus, uh, whatever you named yours, just look for that one. You're going to want to go to Copy ID and click that. Now, over here on the left, 
you want to select the version that matches the one you uploaded. So in this case, the Succubus version. I'm going to go over to Inspector, and you're going to scroll down and look for where the Pipeline Manager is. Now, it will be somewhere in this list. It could be lower down here, but it's generally up near the top. And you're going to Blueprint ID, Control V to copy that or to paste that ID that you copied from earlier into this and attach. Now, this will attach the unique ID, the unique uploaded ID of your PC version to the Quest version. So when we go back into the Builder and select the Succubus version, you will see the name autofill, the thumbnail autofill, and this is how you know you have properly attached your Quest version to your PC version. It is now completely set to upload. So, you check down here and build and publish. And like before, we'll wait for the upload to finish, and you will be good to go. You have a little upload success or succeeded down at the below bottom and you're set you now successfully have an avatar that is uploaded on your account as set for both pc and quest that's it hopefully uh this has helped in some way shape or form uh if you're new to this if not please let me know please let uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Discord. And, as always, have a wonderful day.